I, Brentech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft is rolling out the October security updates for Patch Tuesday for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we head over to Windows Update, the Patch Tuesday updates, as many of you will know, will be downloaded and installed automatically. And for this month, it's KB5031354 for Windows 11 version 22H2. And these updates started rolling out on the 10th of October, which was late yesterday in my region. And this update comes with a lot of new features. The fourth wave of new features, to be exact, also referred to as the Moment 4 update. If you didn't install last month's optional bug fix update KB5030310, and obviously for this to happen to get the features, you need this toggle turned on. Get the latest updates as soon as they're available. So just take note of that. Now, the update for this month, obviously, because it's Patch Tuesday, is a compulsory mandatory security update, which will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. So just to go through some of the uh, security fixes, uh, if you would be interested, because it does address security issues uh, in the Windows 11 operating system. And uh, this month for Windows 11, 22H2, there are 75 vulnerabilities that have been addressed, and that's quite a lot of vulnerabilities and security issues. So this is an important security update rolling out. And 12 of those security issues that have been patched are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And those 12 critical vulnerabilities are all remote code execution vulnerabilities, which is a common exploit that gets patched almost on a month-to-month -month basis uh, with the security updates that do roll out. And remote code execution is when uh, a hacker or an attacker tries to access your system over a network or over the internet, as the name implies. And something to take note of, um, rolled into all of those, we also get approximately three zero-day vulnerabilities that have been addressed. And that means that the exploit is currently um, exploited in the wild. So it's out there, it's happening, and it's active. So just obviously get this patch um, installed sooner than later. But as mentioned, uh, it is an automatic security update. So it would have been downloaded and installed automatically on your device unless you decided to pause the update for a couple of days. Now, once the update has been installed, if we just head over to Winver, which is about Windows, uh, once the update has been applied, Windows 11 version 22H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 2261.2428. Now with the security side of things out of the way, um, as mentioned, if you didn't install um, September's optional bug fix update, all those bug fixes will be pushed into this update. And over and above that, we get a bunch of new features that have rolled out. Now I have posted a whole video on the Moment 4 update um, at the end of last month, and I'll leave that down below. But just to do a very quick recap for the purpose of this video, um, if you did find this video and you are interested in the Moment 4 features, and just to go through these very quickly. Of course, the big one with the Moment 4 update is the Windows Copilot, which brings centralized AI uh, to the desktop. And I'm not going to dive too much, uh, too deep into any of these features. I have covered these quite in depth. Uh, in that Moment 4 update video, but just a quick recap. So Windows Copilot brings centralized AI assistance to the desktop. I think that's the big one with Moment 4. Uh, it also introduces, if you do use Recommended on your Start menu, it introduces websites to the Recommended section of the Start menu. If we head over to our Quick Actions menu, we get, uh, it also introduces an enhanced volume mixer to uh, the quick actions and the quick settings. So yeah, you can see we get an enhanced volume mixer, which I personally think is a nice move in the right direction. Uh, we get never combined mode. And for this, we're just going to right click on, this, on the taskbar, head over to taskbar settings. And for this taskbar behaviors, and this is a big one for a lot of users, combine taskbar buttons and hard labels. So if you have never, you can see never combined taskbar that's available and you can also combine taskbar buttons and hard labels on other taskbars if obviously if you have a multi-monitor setup, which I don't. But nonetheless, um, never combined mode is a big one that I think a lot of users were um, expecting. There's also an option to hide the time and date in the system tray. So for that, we just right click on that, adjust date and time. 
And yeah, you'll see show time and date in the system tray. You can toggle that off and that also helps to declutter the system tray, which I also think is a nice move. Uh, moving on, um, you can also right click on an app in the taskbar and end the task directly from the taskbar without having to head over to your task manager, which is another nice little improvement, which I personally do like. Uh, another big one here is it adds the modernized uh, file explorer. And we get the new uh, file explorer with the new file explorer home. So as an example, the toolbar and the address bar have been swapped around. Um, some other little details just to um, mention regarding the, the file explorer is we get a new details pane. So if we just head over to a file quickly and we just click on any of those, you can see the new details pane. And as mentioned, I'm just going through these quickly. Um, go check that other video out if you want more info. And yeah, we get the gallery basically, which brings uh, photos uh, into the file explorer with the timeline here to the right hand side. Um, we have it also adds additional native support for reading additional archive uh, file formats, which also is a nice move in the right direction. But it doesn't, you can't create file formats, you can only read. Um, additional archive file formats. Uh, it introduces the Windows Backup app, which is now available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, which obviously lets you uh, back up your uh, system folders, your settings, credentials, apps, and so on. Makes According to Microsoft, that makes moving from different PCs a lot quicker and faster. Uh, it improves Spotlight. So if you right-click on the Spotlight icon on your desktop, you can see um, a bit of um, improvements that have, that have rolled out to the Spotlight experience. Something else to take note of, it adds um, new natural voices for narrator. It introduces pass keys. There's also a new settings homepage. So if we head back to settings, you'll see there's a new homepage where we get these uh, quick action menus for recommended settings, cloud storage, you can personalize your device, Bluetooth devices, try Microsoft. If you are subscribed with Xbox, you'll also get an Xbox tile and card and so on. So that's a new settings homepage. We also get, um, it also introduces a dev drive if you are a developer. We get dynamic lighting. Uh, so for dynamic lighting, we're gonna head over to personalization and yeah, we can see, and um, you can manage all your dynamic lighting devices like RGB devices and so on. Um, if you have the hardware that supports um, RGB and dynamic lighting. Um, Notepad, and um, will also now remember all your saved notes. So um, it uh, remembers your last saved state, basically. Um, and there's a whole lot more. Guys, I've just gone through a brief overview. As I mentioned, I've covered this in detail uh, in that uh, previous video, which will be down below. Um, as mentioned, we also get a whole lot of different bug fixes that have rolled out. But nonetheless, uh, that's um, the latest um, security update for Windows 11 version 22H2 KB5031354. And as mentioned, if you have that toggle turned on in Windows update, um, you will start getting the Moment 4 features. And just on a side note, if you are not seeing any of these features, as I've mentioned in previous videos, they should start rolling out more with this update. But if you don't, it means that it's region specific. I know Copilot, as an example, uh, there are issues in the EU. Um, members of the EU and EU states are not getting copilot as far as I, as far as I can recall. So, depending on your region, you could see some of the features for Moment Four. You could not, but nonetheless, it is becoming more widely available with this latest security update for Patch Tuesday. So, um, as mentioned, uh, if you hadn't received it um, at the end of last month, just go double check and make sure your toggle get the latest updates as soon as they're available is turned on. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.